Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition leader has called on President Emerson Nanga Kwa in this ZANU PF led government to redirect their efforts towards nation building and democratization. Writing on the microblogging site X on Wednesday morning, advocate Nelson Chamisa, who leads Zimbabwe's largest opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, Triple C, bemoaned political persecution of his party, which has since August 23 to 24 elections complained over an alleged upset in harassment, arrests, abductions, and to the worst, matter of party members in the hands of alleged state security agents. Mourning the death two days ago of party activist Bishop Tafumane Masaya, who was allegedly abducted by suspected state security agents and later found dead, advocate Chamisa said the government should also stop wasting money on by elections caused by recalls of his party's elected officials. Chamisa wrote, and I quote, said developments in Zimbabwe, the colors politically motivated abduction and matter of citizen Tafumane Masaya is a tragic and ugly turn of politics in Zimbabwe. This is a clear indication that Zimbabwe is sadly in the wrong hands and heading into a dangerous direction. Since 23 August 2023 stolen election, there has been an increase in cases of arrests on trumped up charges, abductions, torture, enforced disappearances, internal displacements, and crimes against humanity targeted mainly at triple C MPs, councillors, citizens, chain champions, and activists. All this is happening as tactics and antics to divert attention from that stolen and shame election. Even the bizarre choreographed recalls and drama, including the sponsored and engineered script and that manufactured rebellion nonsense all are designs and schemes to camouflage the electoral theft and heist. But they will just not succeed on this to cover their vote manipulation tricks and tricks. Mr. Mnangakwa, stop the terrorism and end this impunity and immunity. Stop the abuse and manipulation of state institutions. Stop the illegal elections. Stop the abuse of citizens. Police in Zimbabwe, be professional, be for the people, the country, and for the law. Protect citizens, safeguard national integrity and citizen security. Arrest the perpetrators and criminals. Citizens want peace, but there is no peace. Give the citizens peace. Instead of wasting resources over $5 million on illegal by elections and focusing on side shows, let's focus on the main show. We must focus on addressing the disputed election, a broken nation, an ailing and failing economy, political toxicity, and the deeper and bigger challenges and issues affecting our beloved nation. My thoughts and prayers go to the family of Tafumane Masaya, the citizens' family, and all Zimbabweans at large. May God heal our wounds and land. May the Holy Spirit comfort us all during this difficult moment. Rest in peace, champion, citizen Tafumane Masaya, close quote. Chamisa's party has, after it lost the elections held on the 23rd and 24th of August, been involved in a number of activities which include demonstrations at Zimbabwean embassies across the world and in Zimbabwe as they accuse President Nangakwa and his party of having stolen the election through the use of intimidation, state security agents and vote rigging. However, the party recently went through an implosion in which a man claiming to be its interim secretary general by the name Sengezo Chabangu went on a spree of recalling party members elected to parliament, the senate and to various local authorities. At the time of going to print, Chabangu had already recalled more than 20 members of parliament from Triple C in both lower and upper houses of assembly. He had also recalled more than 69 councillors across the country whom he says were 
elected after they were catapulted to those positions of contestations by the president and those close to him. Shabangu, who has complained that the party is being run by one man and those close to him, claims that he, he wants to reinstitute constitutionalism, transparency, and collective will within the party. He recently said that he was reverting the party back to the 2019 structures which were left by founding party president Moken Swangirai, who passed on soon after a coup that ushered in President Emerson Mnangakwa and deposed of long-time strongman Robert Gabriel Mugabe. However, members of Triple C, especially Chamisa and those that are close to him, have accused Chabangu of being an imposter, a fraud, and a puppet of the ruling ZANU PF party. They say that ZANU PF, in pursuit of a two thirds majority in parliament, is using Chabangu as a coon and a spook to try and remove members of the opposition so that ZANU PF can rig the subsequent by elections. Zimbabwe, which held a nomination court on the 7th of November after the declaration of, Nanga, of Mnangagwa, is set to next month on the 9th of December go to a by-election, which is going to be the first among a number of other such events to happen in future, as Chabang has continued to recall other members of the opposition from Parliament, Council and the Senate after the first round of recalls, which targeted 14 members of Triple C. Many of the Triple C followers are of the belief that Chabangu is being sponsored not only by ZANU PF but also by some members of the opposition party who held senior position in the M in the MTC alliance led by Chamisa as they grieve that they were left out of the just ended election. Among a number of those that have been pointed out are lawyers Tendai Biti and Welshman Nube, both of who previously served in different MTC mutations in the roles of Secretary Generals. Reporting for AVG News in Johannesburg, Olisi Nube.